Uh, college meeting of Water County Fiscal Court to order uh, on this 26th day of April 2022 at 5 p.m. I'm going to ask uh, Ann Melton to lead us in a prayer and a pledge to the flag. Our Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for the day you've given us and thank you for all of your blessings to Ohio County, all the good. And watch over our country in these times. They are hard. Help people. Help the leaders to make good decisions. And help our leaders here in Ohio County as they continue to help Ohio County grow strong and make a community for us to live in. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, before you have the April the 12th minutes, and the motion to approve. I'll make the motion to approve. Motion by Jason Bullock. Second. Second by Sam Small. Is there any discussion, corrections, or addition? Any discussion, corrections, or additions? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign? That motion carries. Before you have the bills, claims, payments, and transfers. Motion by Larry Camp. Second. Second by Larry Morphew to approve the bills, claims, payments, and transfers. Is there any discussion? There's no like this, right? No like this. No. Oh, I got it. Is there any discussion on the bills and claims? Being none, all in favor say aye. 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 Post like sign, <coughs> the bills are paid. Um, the sheriff has submitted the uh, amendment to the 2022 estimated revenue budget. Did it go up, Sheriff? Well, we need to call the fourth grade. <laughs> okay. So. Uh, it went up. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's okay. We'll always amend it up. So, uh, do I have a motion? I'll say, I mean, I'll make a motion. Motion by Joe Barnes? I'll second. Second by Sam Small to uh, uh, note the uh, change in the sheriff's estimated revenue budget. Is there any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Motion carries. Would one of you on the uh, wage scale, uh, on the uh, salaries thing, make the motion to accept as presented? I'll make the motion. Motion with Joe Barnes. Oh, I'm not on salary, I'm on the wage. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Uh, Are you talking about I'll do the salary too? It, it was, it was second, you and you. Yeah. I'll second Larry's motion. Okay. And basically it's the CPI, is that what? Yes, sir. Larry, did you make the motion? Yes. Okay. Motion by Larry, second by Jason. Uh, is there any discussion on it? And like he said, you don't mind me telling where to derive from, right? Uh, basically all elected officials other than the one to set the statute has to be set by the fiscal court now and they've elected to not really make any increases in anybody's from the last term with the exception of cpi so uh, we have a motion second is there any discussion being now all in favor say aye, aye. opposed like sign the salaries are set um the clerk's office now has a new fee that they're collecting. Uh, and we, it has to be isolated or restricted. That has been a separate bank account. So what this is, we're asking for Ann to be able to set up a separate bank account to handle nothing but the county court clerk's uh, storage fees yeah. on records. What is, uh, so it's just for records. Well, the state passed Senate Bill 135 that allows clerks to collect an extra $10 on all the filing fees. 
and that ten dollars <coughs> that will be put back into a special account and cannot be used for anything else. And it is for them to get everything digitized. Okay. So moved. Second. Motion by Larry Cannon. Second with Jason Bull. Yes. I just got a question about it. Does the yes. So this fee is it on on each car or is it a one fee per or do you know? It's on if you file a deed, it's it's filing all those things. Okay. Now, yes, your marriage license, you're going to pay it on mortgages, mortgages deeds. Mortgages, mortgages deeds. It's recording. It's not on the auto side. It's right. on the recording yes. side. Right. Thank Wills, you. I guess, all those things. Yeah. And the money's going to be utilized for what? Whatever the clerk wants to. Oh, okay. no, 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 it's no. restricted. That's what I it's restricted, you. but the clerk will know the guidelines. And yeah, to digitize everything, so everything will be online. It'll take several years, but statewide, uh, they're going to make it to where you can get online and see anything instead of going to the basement. I didn't really mean three things she wanted to, but I mean she's the one that's got the guidelines and knows how to do that. A lot of clerks are going to that now where you can pull up plats and, and deeds and those things, and so I think that's the push by the, the state for that to happen. Okay. Well, all I'm sorry to say, aye. 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 Folks like saying? It'll be convenient for you. Uh, and, uh -huh. ARPA funds report, you put that on there, did, is that separate from Jimmy's? Uh, no, it's not. It's the same thing. Okay, no. Jimmy, you want to make us a report on your property. And uh, next meeting, bring the rent roll from the, from the uh, senior center will make one, then the one after that, Bo Wright will make on um, Park's part. This all has to do with the... Uh, uh, ARPA funds. So eight and nine are together then on the agenda. Yes, yes. Sorry about that. Thank you, Judge, and thank you, Fiscal Court. I'd just like to tell the Fiscal Court that I still thank you for what you've done in this county by creating this program and um, putting the funding forward for it. You will see progress. As long as I can work and put due diligence toward it, we will see that there is progress in this. I think we're already seeing progress. Um, for this quarter, and this is not the entire time of the program, this is for this quarter, um, you know we started a monitoring program for alcohol monitoring and GPS <coughs> on incarceration. Uh, for this quarter we put 46 people on monitors. Uh, 36 of them was GPS monitors and 10 of them was alcohol monitors. For a total of 106, or for just the GPS monitors rather, for 1,625 days. That's 1,625 days that person could have been incarcerated and could have been a cost to the county. So combined, that was 1,625 days in this court. Uh, someone would possibly could have been incarcerated that was not. Um, in use right now is 23 monitors, 15 of them is GPS, 8 of them is alcohol. We've uh, assisted, um, as far as our clients that we see, just for this quarter, 111 for this quarter that we've, uh, we've seen and we've actually done something for. We've had some come in that's just asked about the program and uh, really didn't need the assistance that we, we could provide. Uh, resources provided, out of those 111, we've provided 383 resources to those people. There's a vast amount of resources that we can provide. Some of it is just helping out, getting them with their bills lined out, uh, helping them also with fines. Uh, ways to pay fines and, and help them with their finances and working with their financial situation to make it better so they can pay those fines and not come back to court. And uh, Justin can tell you there's, there's quite a few of those that we get recommended to us for that. Um, <coughs> treatment, this quarter we've placed uh, 34 people in treatment facilities for treatment. We've housed and helped 25 people that did not have housing. We, we've got them in housing and sustainable housing that they're still in. That was 25 people this quarter. We've uh, assisted and helped get employed 43 people this quarter. That's people that was not working or seeking jobs or was coming out of jail and didn't have jobs. 43 of those was placed in, in employment. We are tracking those to make sure it is long-term employment we're staying with it. Some of them have switched a couple jobs here and there, but there has been 43 placed in employment. Office visits for this quarter, we've had 175 office visits. That's scheduled appointments and so forth to come in that we've done follow-ups with or done assessments on those people. 
We've also applied for and received a Kentucky ASAP grant for $10,000. Um, that will take effect July 1, and we'll be able to apply that $10,000 toward the program for more treatment and so forth. And it will help to assist with the payment of more monitors. So that way, the monitors, uh, the money was set aside previously for monitors, we can also apply that to, to help with that. So we continue the program for those that can't afford monitors. Wow. Any questions for Jim? Good job. Good job. Yeah. Well, yeah, I appreciate the job you're doing. Yeah. Do too. And we do have success stories. Some, yeah. some real good success stories as well. People have turned their lives around, and I'm really thankful of it. And we're actually seeing the impact in the community. But we are starting to see that. And thank the fiscal court again for doing this and giving us this opportunity. And we will continue to work our best at it and put as much time as we need to see that this is a good community for everyone to enjoy. Okay. Sure, appreciate it. I'm going to ask a question. It's kind of like vice versa. What they just said. So, in my mind, I look at things a little different. So, how many times do you think we've prevented something worse from happening by by having to recall people or put them in or take it away? Have we prevented uh, people from harming themselves or others in some sort? Definitely. Uh, Definitely. I would say probably we're looking at 30 to 35 percent is, is what I'm looking at. People that would harm someone else or harm yourself in some way. I had an individual in today that uh, um, I think that we wouldn't have done some intervention today, would have committed suicide. And this was a young boy who's 21 years old. Good. Um, had him and his mother in today. And, and a lot of times, it's the same when, when Jimmy and I work together on some of these cases, the mother of the, of the uh, of a child who may have a maybe a spouse or a boyfriend or whatever may not want to see the father of the child necessarily go to jail but they want to make sure he's not around the you know around yeah. them because the relationship has ended uh, the monitoring where they know they can call Jimmy up and make sure that he is not within their area or close to them or anything of that nature has assisted in them feeling a little bit more comfortable about what's going on and also some accountability to that person and not being and that's, that's what I wanted to point out. It, it ain't all uh, sunshine and roses. There are cases that we actually protect others yes. by this. Yes, and we do. that's what, uh, you know, we're benefiting the public. We're, we're taking care of others, not just the ones that we're helping with the monitoring. And when there's EPOs and DVOs and so forth, uh, where there has been violence and, and previous violence, monitors, we set up zones, not only the zones around where that person stays that they cannot exit, we also set up a zone around the victim's residence. And whatever feed it is, that person cannot be around that person. If they get within that 500,000 feet, whatever that is that the court sets, it sends me a text message that very second. I know it, I can call law enforcement and they, we can have it there. So yes, it does protect my life. Well, that's all I had, Jimmy. I appreciate you all right. all the things you've done. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you so much. KYTC, Scott Fessels, you're up. Good evening, Judge, members of the Hawk County Fiscal Court. Most of you know me. Actually, I think all of you know me. Scott Phelps, uh, he's here from the Owensboro Section Office. We've got Denitra Henderson, Denitra Henderson here, who is our uh, district district, chief district engineer. And Matt West is our new branch manager for Project Delivery and Preservation 2. So we're going to start off with our first one, which is our funding this year. Total is $580,000. Flex funds are $354,305. And you'll notice that this year, your funds are larger than ours. The reason behind that is that this is going to be a catch-up year. What's happened is, I called Frankfurt when I saw them out, and what they were doing was at the end, near the end of the year, not the end of the fiscal year, but near the end of the actual calendar year, they would take whatever funds were left in sort of like the account that we had for Ohio County, and they would cut them in half. And they would hold half back for projects, and then the other half they would put onto the next year. So 2021, we had those funds that were added to our allotment, our, our total amount. 
they were not realizing that we had projects going to letting that were going to be using those funds. So they went to letting, and then we based our last year's funding on what we were told we had. So basically, we just overspent last year. And now it's going to catch up this year. All those projects that we had previously are already let, such as uh, the paving projects and the culvert project on 1414. It's just that this year we only have 226,000 for the KYTC funds. So what we're going to spend that on is on 505 from the 13.56 to the 17.13. It's going to be 3.57 miles. Our route log lists it as O'Layton Road, but I don't think that's the proper name for it. It's, it's right there where the big curve is. Yes, it's coming hill. down the hill. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start there and then we're going to pave all the way to the end at 878. So go through those bottoms and then uh, we'll rehab that through there. We're estimating that to be at $210,000 and I'm going to hold back that other money in case the project goes over but it's overbid so we've got a little bit of cushion <coughs> there. so uh, of course you know, the flex funds uh, the county has the option to retain those funds or they can give KYTC all or part of those funds so uh, I have a request on there to continue the 505 paving from the Olayton Road all the way to 62 to just go ahead and do that whole thing and ask to take 130,000 over to 300,000 but uh, that is completely up to you. Are there any questions? Uh, comment. We've got to get on our legislators legislators because I always say that when I tell them they need to improve the CRA money and the same way they would do that they would also improve the state's funds for the rural secondary program and I preach that every time I'm talking to uh, anybody about it uh, the general assembly done nothing for us this year put a little bitty fee on electric cars that won't even feel what you get statewide won't feel one pot out uh, so that's not any fix at all but I think maybe that was a step in the direction that had to be addressed before they consider increasing that gas tax, which would hurt, not hurt anybody because it was such, such a small amount would add to so much money. Do we need to, uh, we need need to, to entertain a motion then that, uh, that uh, we take the recognition of the state but retain our flex funds for the county? That's a motion by Larry Cam, did you hear? Do I hear what he says? Yeah. I'll second it. Second to Sam Small. Retain all of the flex funds. That's what the other motion was. That's what it's up for discussion now, though. Yeah. So you know, I got different yeah. ideas. Um, I would be inclined to do that, what Scott asked for, but I do know that I would be the only one. So uh, I will vote for the motion as well because so I don't be the sore thumb sticking out. But I would be for it. All right. Uh, go ahead and roll call this one, Miranda. Hope y'all all got to sign it, by the way. You got to sign it. This is a resolution. Yeah. So roll call. And it's resolution 2022-29. Barring Sam Small from Sam Yes. Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. I'll pass it on down. Let's get it signed so we get back to Scott. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Guess what I'm going to ask? What 
36? No, I'm gonna let it sit down. I'm, I'm done beating that dead horse. Uh, <laughs> horse and, which, uh, which one? But uh, I but, but 136. So I'm just yeah. gonna leave it alone. And, and but it is coming. So uh, I do know that. And, I'm so gonna ask the better. <laughs> I'm gonna ask a question. Too, and I know it's a totally different fund. He might have 136, by the way. 231 <laughs> and, and Main Street and Beaver Down. What is the progress on that, or where are we at? I mean, I know you guys probably know it was a different type of fund. But yeah, we, well, it's actually 62 through there. It's, it's, it was 62, 231 combo. Yeah, that's kind of where it, But we just held a design meeting on that. Mm -hmm. uh, we got the, the first design, and we recommended some changes to it. And we're shooting for July landing. July what? July landing, where it goes to contract. Okay. Yeah, that is um, drainage improvements and resurfacing as well. So it needs, I mean, it's just building up, so I figured you would probably have to cut down a little bit to put on it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. what's happening there is you've only got a drop, you've got a drop box up near School Street, which is there at the curb. Yeah. And then you've got a drop box all the way downtown. And that's it. You don't have anywhere else for the water to go so it's running down that gutter and it's getting through the crack and getting underneath and it's doing on both sides and it's just tearing the pavement up yeah so the plan is that we're going to install a new drainage system all the way through there and then they're going to resurface we're going to redo the uh, and you're going to start from we're going to tear, roll yeah, tear it all we're out we're going to re rehab it rebuild well, that's what it probably needs to be cut down because you're, you oh, don't yes. have much lip on well, it's a complete yeah. Out, redo the road. And so let me ask you this: Where we, will you start from 62 to 6? I mean, from yeah, it's going to go from where 62 comes into to Beaver Dam uh, to into the line. School, well, to School Street is where the actual work is is going on, which okay. is right there before you get to Goshen Road. By the line. Yeah. Okay. This is a big deal. Uh, we can usually just resurface the road, mill it down, and resurface. Uh, and that's all our funding allows for. But Scott uh, requested funding. Um, it was a pie in the sky request, three million dollars to also add these drainage boxes. And my thought was, what was he thinking? And then he got it. So uh, this is this is a good thing. It will help the pavement life through there. Well, I appreciate that because it's been an issue for. Yeah, I mean, this is. It hadn't been too long though. They they searched. Yeah, it was, you know, think about it. Five years ago, and it's yeah. just it, it's yeah. just falling apart. Okay, well, great. You're going to go through the bid process in July, so it'll, it'll be a while before you start. We're hoping they'll get started in the fall. The fall. Get started with the yeah, we're hoping for July. Uh, depends on how these changes go. Uh, but yeah, the intent is to get the drainage and everything in, or as much in this year, and then uh, if, if they can pave it and do all that this year. But uh, the Paving season might run out. Uh, I understand. And then yeah. finish. Because you want to build a little more because it's. Long term, it's best scenario, though. Yeah. yeah. But at least it's in the. Because, I mean, that street's hitting more people than anywhere. Yeah. I mean, Part of it's got concrete under it. It's an old concrete road. Okay. But, now, if you dig into the concrete, I think cause we've got brick under that. Yeah. I think in some parts. So, yeah, it, it's. They, where over the years, they just constantly just added asphalt, added all the asphalt. The curb is gone a lot of places. So. Here's another project that yeah, I just wanted to know about and see if there's anybody who could take a look at it. It's on 62 and uh, Goshen Church Road. There is a, it's a county road running out to the state highway. But yeah, it's, yeah, it's just it's, past Rochester. <clears throat> no, it's a, <clears throat> it's on, uh, you're going down Beaver Dam, well I thought Beaver Dam stretch, heading towards McHenry. Yeah. It's, uh, it's on your right Ridgecrest. as you're heading towards Mac. Oh, yeah, Ridgecrest. I said yeah. Rochester. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ridge, yeah. Ridgecrest. Yeah, yeah. It, it goes between Goshen and yeah. 231. Right. Okay. So there's a narrow <clears throat> entrance coming off the county onto the state. And you can see a lot of people around that drop off. It's a, it's a, it's a deep drop off. And, you know, we'd be willing to do whatever we could to try to help too. But it's on the state's right away. So. You know, the improvements would have to meet the state standards and all that. Uh, Are you talking about Goshen Church Road? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, 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 I know exactly what that. <clears throat> and you can see where, you know, I think people. They put concrete in there, I think. Dropped uh, their tire off and mm -hmm. they scraped the pavement and everything, but they managed to get out or, you know, the momentum yeah. carried them on through. But, you know, maybe even trailers turning there, but it's, it is a real tight spot. Uh, David had mentioned a. Uh, it sounded like a driveway tower near there, too, not too far from that. Is it? 
could it be related? It could very well. <clears throat> okay. Could very well be related. Yeah, and I, I just know that I think a lot what happens a lot is people pull up there to pull out and then there's traffic coming both ways and people's trying to turn in there and the traffic's backing up and other traffic's trying to get out and it's uh there's it's just not very well, at one point they were rerouting people. I don't remember what happened, but like it was taking big trucks through there too. And I don't know if that had. Well, then that might have been Miller Road. Well, I, I think part of it was Ghost Church over there, okay. cutting through too. They might have been. Yeah. So, but it is narrow back there where it comes out on 62. So. Well, they will look at it and see if there's anything okay. we can do with it. On the east side. <clears throat> yeah. Several years ago, uh, the state actually widened Goshen Church road or lane whatever it is to the west side made it wider made it where you could drag out uh but it's i mean i grew up right there and but it's always been short on the left side and that's what they're talking about it just there's more traffic and it's it is pretty rough right there okay i mean it's way steeper it's so right and there. if you if you one, someone wants to meet me down there anytime or wants to set up a time we can meet that way and show like exactly what the, we share that road so yeah that's actually on that side it's on my side actually because yeah. they put concrete in there we've looked at it yeah so yeah well if it's jason's side i don't know yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay it's my side <laughs> hey listen i'm getting 231 uh, that's getting you know, that's gonna be that's a wheel right there so is there anything else I like, go out there and put some rock in yeah, it on that one. I remember that one. I can turn around. Hey, uh, Scott, <laughs> can you bring up status on what uh, the Lake Washburn to Dundee on the resurfacing end of that particular section? I know the area from Lake Washburn into Hartford's been done, from Dundee to has been done, but that, yeah. that, sex, that particular section's been left out or maybe on the books. Or, uh, well, I just want to know if you knew what was that. We had an HSIP project on the book starting from that bridge just uh, north of the county park. I believe it's just north of there going all the way up to Dundee. Yeah, and but they, they did, uh, Scott, they yeah. did as far as uh, Lake Washburn. Uh, but then from Lake Washburn on to Dundee, I don't know, it's probably Yeah, I think, I, I thought that whole stretch was on the HSIP project, didn't it? I, I'm pretty sure it's on the list. I was told that the last time I asked uh, me. Yeah, it, it was in design, and that was the last that I had heard of it was that they were trying to finalize it. Okay. But yeah, it was there was going to be an HSIP project to uh, repair the shoulder, like repair shoulders, and, and uh, I think replace some of the cross drains through there. Prior to prior to resurfacing and, and extending some of the. the it is right. probably the most safe, biggest safety issue we have. Lots of rock trucks go through there, and if you drive it, it just throws you all over the road. It's just yeah. you know, like that. Anything else? No, not for me. Thank <laughs> you. Do you need my number in case y'all want to get over? Yeah, better. I'll have to call your brother. 270 256 1899. Yes. Okay. The HSIP is in this month's letting. Okay, yeah, it's, in, it's supposed to be in this month's letting now. <coughs> uh, for uh, 69. 3.59. Just gives my points. Uh, that doesn't help. Tell you real quick. See the rural road. Yeah, the What's the mile one? But road. It's not mile 69. Okay, so it's. Well, they they give two sections of it. Okay, so it's 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 uh, front section and back section, but there's a mid section to about, I don't know, four miles or something like that. It is. What were those? Uh, it goes map? from Round Hill Road to Dundee Narrows Road. Yeah, okay. that's that's what we're asking for. Yeah, yeah, it's in, it's, yeah, it's in this month's letting the 28th. So okay, uh, so we'll add that in here. It is the section we're talking about yeah. after that. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's got a completion date all this year. So if it gets awarded and construction, it'll be completed this year. Yeah. Okay. So it'll be stopping just before the Red River Bridge. Very good. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the section we've been asking for. Yeah, that's good deal. 
Thank you very much. Thank you, Scott. Yeah, appreciate, appreciate all of you for coming. Call us anytime we can help with anything. But we sure call you guys if we need you, so you call us if you need us. Uh, next, we have the uh, second reading of the budget, which is not on your agenda. No. We I, about think, I thought we had to have We haven't back from the state. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. I thought we just, we asked about that. Okay. Next meeting. Um, uh, Justin has something for us here on the IDA board summary. Uh, yes, Judge, I'd ask the uh, court to consider that uh, the fiscal court going to uh, partnership with the um, uh, Kentucky Economic Development Finance Authority in the Economic Development Fund for uh, upgrading its electric to 9.5 megawatts at the Bluegrass Crossings. Uh, so the motion would need approval of the, uh, the uh, EDF grant. Uh, subject to the terms and the report that you've been given along with all state requirements being finalized. It would uh, uh, cost the county, it looks like, a 50% match of $300,000 but it would upgrade to 9.5 uh, megawatts uh, at Bluegrass Cross. And we will certainly, if we approve that, we'll look at other places to replace the funds. So we need a motion. So, Motion by Larry Kane. Uh, let me ask another project real quick here. Okay. <coughs> now, is that the same one we received the, um, we were awarded the, um, the money for on the one project we did with, um, to the state? <clears throat> you know, this was a, this was more of a Jody project. And so this was just an email sent to me asking, say, this is, uh, we asked the court for approval on this. I know at one time they, spoke about possibly all of it being taken care of by the state in some way so i don't know what that status is but this well, this document says three thousand yeah, this is uh, joe you remember you and i we went down there yeah. with the different utilities <clears throat> right and then uh, uh we've actually passed the motion on this the full round I, I thought there was also uh in talks with joey there was some money set aside uh through well, and, and I can't do right the account. How about that one? Were they looking at maybe helping us some with that? Is it it's possible for the TVA money? Well, yeah. would would there be a possibility? Yes, yeah, there's, there's, there's a good possibility some back in there, but it has to be committed by fiscal court. Then there's a very good chance that some of that will be gone. Well, would some of the other members of the uh, that's that's in with us, the uh, board out there. Uh, should, would they come up with their particular share of the three hundred thousand dollars? Does that all have to go through work, the work, fiscal court? I think he's working, working on that. That's if what we, we get the grant. We are working on that. Yeah. We just now reestablished a working relationship and getting the Greta board back in line where they're actually doing things. So yes, definitely we will there, and definitely was asking for using some of the TBA money for that as well. We we'll come up with cutting down on that three hundred thousand. I feel like the board's going to, if they're going to, they're going to benefit, they're going to benefit from it. They yeah. should be, as, as we are, they should, uh, they should be on board. Yeah. Is that something with that uh, judge that we need to do now and uh, then see where we, uh, where I believe maybe we need this to go to the next level with the grant is what I'm yeah. doing. We probably need to proceed on with the grant, but at the same time we need to be working on a partnership because... Uh, oh, yeah. Well, they, well, they wanted the Ohio County Industrial Development Authority uh, to also pass the same. So that means the money coming from them, or at least the black sheriff is. They were, they, when, when I got the email this morning, they requested uh, both this court and... Uh, the industrial authority, the development authority that also passed a similar motion. Did I have a second? Larry County made the motion. And this is to get this thing to the next level, but yes, uh, we need to work on it. Well, should have had a second for discussion. We should have. I'll, I'll, I'll second. Okay. Second, same spot. But, uh, well, I don't, I, don't, I definitely know the needs. Now, 
if we get to the point where we we get the grant but we get no partnership uh are we held to the no we'll be we'll be signing the final contract um okay time. but this is if we do not sign the final contract we can go ahead and do this get the ball rolling and then it's something yeah then if we, if we get the grant or attain the grant or whatever, then yeah. we're going to look at some of We definitely need to be talked about it. But I'm saying, though, this is the same one that we got approved for when Jody was here. Yeah, it's, the same, it's the same exact one we talked about. Yeah. And if, we are, if we already did it then, is that the... Uh, we have, but we, this is kind of a little different form. It's, it's a kind of a... Yeah. Okay. It's okay. a little bit of redundant. Yeah, yeah, I think the state has... It's, it's a little bit further along now. Right. right. Okay. Right. I think that's what our vision is. Barnes? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Cam? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Okay, thank you. Um, I have a uh, personnel matter here uh, that I want to take care of now, and then we may have another one. But uh, it's time for Jimmy Cantrell to go from level one to level two on his job. He'll go from 1616 to 1671. Uh, this has been reviewed by the uh, Wage Committee, so all I need is a roll call, Miranda. Effective? Effective 4-3. Okay. Barnes? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Cam? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Okay, uh, another thing on the personnel. Uh, Charlotte Jones is going to make us a presentation. Don't, hey, don't be, don't be nervous. Okay. Just, <coughs> I'm trying not to be. I'm just here to request that the current part-time employee that we have make her full-time. Right now is our busiest time, and we are bombarded, or I'm bombarded right now because she's apparently not here right now because of an emergency. Well, a death in her family. Um, we've been bombarded with returns coming in that were due April 15th. Even though the deadline has been extended to May 15th or May 16th, a lot of people aren't aware of that or they're just going ahead and getting them in. So I'm bombarded with those. I've got 1099s that need to go out, um, reconciling that needs to be done. Just I'm about two years behind. Of course, COVID didn't help. so to get her full-time so I could have that extra help. And she's part-time 100 at this time, yeah. right? right? So this will increase her from 32 to 40 hours. Well, she's oh, 29 hours, I I'm think. sorry, 29. she's 29 yeah. hours. So it would be like 11. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry. Something like that. I'm sorry. So. Do you know her current hourly rate? No, not right off the top of my head, I don't. Well, But I'll she's been with us. It'll be four years, I think. I'll say at her current rate, uh, we'll say at her current rate, and uh, I'll go ahead and uh, do that and, and say that, and Miranda, you'll need to do a roll call on it. We, we just need to make sure that fits in the, the wage scale. Yes, yeah. and, for, and, and set the rate, let's review it by the wage scale. Yeah. And we need to make sure we've got a swap in the upcoming budget that we're fixing the last or second reading to that if the money's money is there, Judge, you may have a area where we can pick it up. I'll, I'll make that, I'll do that. Might be able to make it up and being able to collect. Okay, <laughs> that's what we're saying, what to I be able to collect. To. I think you need it, I'm just gonna go ahead and say, do we have a second? Yeah. We don't need it, but I, I, I think you need it, don't get me wrong. I mean, there's always We were just kind of people. warned last, that, you know, it's gonna be tight because we, the CPI was so high this year, and we right. wanted to make sure that everybody get it. So we're kind of doing something, we're kind of warned so uh, that's kind of what I'm hoping if we yeah. do this. And yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm almost. A little more time for I was down there with her and spent several hours a week ago. I guess it was maybe been two weeks. Face time flying, but I was I spent some time with her, and she's done quite a bit of that. It's been plan. needed for a long. Oh yeah. So I guess roll call Miranda. What's her name? Sheila Moore. Her husband just passed away. Yeah. Sheila Moore. M O O R E. Barnes. Yes. Johnston? Yes. Town? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. You done with? 
Sorry. Yeah, you, you worried about kicking. Yeah, I'm going to tell her she was nervous. Imagine uh, us uh, half dressed or something, yeah, but then that's again, what they say. that might make her a lot more nervous. <laughs> Probably. Hey, but if you do that, don't look at Larry. <laughs> I would be able to see you yeah. because you're just from here up. <laughs> Sorry about that. Thank you. It, it, it's a, a long day, and uh, when I do that, I try to get funny. I know uh, I know how it feels to be underneath that bus now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Matt, he, didn't, he didn't specify which way. <laughs> well, that's right, too. Yeah. You see on the need for a car and a bus and turn it over. No, I didn't see that. Wow. Hey, uh, I've got one more thing. It's not exactly personnel, but uh, it's a it's a board appointment. We have a vacancy on the airport board, and two individuals, uh, one magistrate and one uh, department head or leadership team member, team member, recommended Toby Southern. So I put up Toby Southern for a term to uh, to uh, fulfill the a term on the airport board. Yeah, actually, that came from recommendation of the airport board. Yeah. So, okay. It came from the airport board, but I, I got the message from Bo and from Joe. So. Right. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, roll call. Barnes? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Count? Yes. Northview? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. And uh, you should just enter in the end of the minutes and then make sure that you get a letter to the airport board at that point. Thank you. Uh, committee reports. Have, do we have any committee? I, I know we do. I got one too. We got jail report. Go ahead, Sam. Uh, I just want to report that the OCEDA board met yesterday. Uh, in preparations, uh, been a while since we met, but uh, we are back to going to start meeting every month. Uh, also, uh, we are setting aside our uh, job description to post for uh, administrative executive. So uh, that will be coming in the near future. I don't know, do we need a motion here to post that for that job? Uh, I would think so. Uh, we, we can. I don't yeah. think we'd have to just post it. This is a odd just, thing. I, 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 want the, I want all the recommendations come from those. Yeah. yeah, I think the recommendation they post and probably, I mean, we just we just take their recommendations. So I'm just going to go ahead and make the motion that that uh, we allow us to post the job. Yeah, I uh, think it, I definitely think it ought to be posted. That's something just uh, may have clarified. Well, well, will you will OC the board go ahead and post it, or you want the county to? Uh, I think uh, Christine is going to get with the county, okay. so the county can post. I got a letter from Seth today, but I was actually unclear yeah. on whether he was going to post it or we were to. Well, this yeah, is and, and they will give the. Uh, they will give the job uh, description with some modifications what we agreed on last night. Okay. So. Uh, okay, I think I may have them, but I'll look and make sure they are. The you right. talk about the requirements. Yeah. Report. Yeah. Job description. Um, so we have a motion by Sam, and second by Jason, sure. to uh, uh, post for the job of uh, economic development director. So considering the recommendations of OCD. Yes. Yeah. We consider the recommendations of both say that. Put that in the motion, Miranda. So is there any more discussion though? Any discussion? If not, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign? Motion. Okay. Uh Larry, tell them about our jail man. <laughs> Well, all I know is it's quite a ways up there. But anyway, <laughs> the judge and Wayne Crow and Charlie Shield, myself, we went to uh, Evanston County, sat down, met with the judge, uh, judge not from, yeah, the judge from Evanston County. County, Will, and we sat down with the other board members and uh, had some good discussion. Uh, I think one of the things we, that came out of the discussions was that there's two counties in the state of Kentucky that, that have the two jails that have tri counties. And so Charlie's going to try to locate the two, see if we get one individual, the director, to come up and speak to the board, uh, what process he went through, and how it worked, and how he set up things with three different counties. And Justin will uh, know somewhat about this too. But uh, what problems they run into, uh, and how they fix their problems or whatever. 
but we thought it'd be very beneficial if they come up and had talked to us and we'll pay their way up or whatever the case may be. And I think there's one down in Western Kentucky, David, and where is the other one? I don't Northern, like Northern Kentucky. Kentucky, whatever, but anyway, um, that'll be at our next yeah. meeting. Okay, like Justin, you actually talked talk to one of them once, didn't you? Uh, yes, we talked to uh, a few of them up at the state level that, that uh, discussed uh, the benefits and burdens of a, of a, in this case, a Tri-County Jail. And so uh, we may even had a conference with her at one point. Um, so we could, we could, I could call her to ask her if she would wish to come again. Yeah, I wish you would, Justin, have her to come down. Maybe even when this uh, lady or gentleman comes from one of these Tri-County Jails, when he comes up, maybe may want to do it a different time they want to do it the same time yeah i'd like for a weekend you know maybe on a tuesday or something where they could come at least we had a had somebody to talk to them just kind of oh, yeah like sure. hear from them more the merrier yeah yeah with, with that's the, something well if, if charlie just wants to get with me on the date i'll or just we can be, the, let me know we can do it kind of hear from them yeah, yeah. i'd like to hear from them. i think we're going to set up our next meeting or, yeah i think uh, we're going to set up our next meeting sometime after the election gotcha. and see in and other county problem and it'll be next gonna, board meeting we're nice. just going to yeah I mean, if you guys want to go with us, we'll load up a bus and we'll go to Butler County. What we're trying to do is just go from Edmonds to Butler in a while and then circle around again as we have the meeting. Y'all haven't met Butler County yet? No, we're going to be next time be at Butler County. So. Yeah, uh, we met with the uh, judge and one of the masters somewhere more than once, but this is to do with the new, newly appointed uh, jail board <coughs> yeah. from each county. Okay, that's, that's all I have, Judge. Any other committee report? If there's no other committee reports, let's go to the individual matches reports and requests. Sam Ma. No, I'm, uh, I'm good, Judge. Thank you. I just want to say, as you know, Jimmy here gave us his uh, brief, you know, when he was coming on and how we were talking about how good that was. Well, I also, on the way here, I had, I'm a member of the Ohio County Food Pantry. And I came and saw the new cooler and everything they've done in there. And wow, what was going on there? I encourage all you guys sometimes to stop by the food pantry and just see. I don't know if you'd ever been to see where it was and where it is now, but it, it's it's come. It looks nice. Yeah, that's where David picks up his food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's pretty good stuff. But I told him, I said, maybe sometime before a court meeting, we would have like a court meet there and kind of let you guys see where that money's because it's come a long way. And that's a wonderful thing. We well, sure it is. We don't, it's, it's hard to realize how much food insecurity there is here in, in our, our community. Drive by Wednesday, Wednesday afternoon and see how many people are really good chicken. chicken. We, have, we have one in Ford to them. It's, it's well utilized and help the people, I believe. Yes. Yep. Some people come there and work and volunteer, and some people work for their, uh, as part of the program. They're two good things, you know, hearing from that and then coming from that meeting. Yeah. But, uh, Jason, if you guys uh, want to attend the next meeting with your old Sam or whatever, and you want to go up to Butler County with us, I'll have to just let us all know. Sure. Sure. Or you can wait till the next one and we'll, but I think it would be very important to come up with a guy when he comes from the Tri-State. That's kind of, yeah, that's kind of what I like to hear from. Yeah. yeah. Uh, along the line, we're talking about food coolers. Uh, Brenda Renfro got a grant for all three senior centers is getting a new uh, oh, okay. refrigeration unit too. Is that right? Uh, Fordsville, Horse Branch, and here at Hartford. Oh, good. Yeah, that's good. Uh, okay. so, so. Just one thing, uh, we talked about some uh, truck bids on uh, semi truck. I didn't know if any of that went out. Got it, put it did, but I don't think we've gotten any. So I think okay, it's I didn't know if that was uh, don't think there was any bid submitted, okay, so I think we're going to come back this after about the money once. Well, the other thing is, is I'd also kind of brought up in the past, and this is Ann's question, and I think she was going to dig into it at one time, but I forgot to remind her about it. So that semi truck we used to pull trailer for the food pantry, and at one time I'd asked, is there any way because it's doing a community service like that, can it, the community side of ARPA funds be used to help on that on that buy on that truck. So, can we double check that? And make sure, or you know? I know. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Sound a lot of confidence. <laughs> <laughs> There's confidence. Yeah. Uh, I didn't know that was. Yeah, you was checking her. No, you knew. So. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That, yeah. yeah if, you mean if we pulled it, if it was right. used to uh, pull food for the pantry? 
Yeah, here's the deal. Uh -huh. Okay. Since he got no beds, I guess it's a matter of shopping and bringing in what he's got for y'all to save the next minute. Well, what we might have to do is let him do that. I know he's been out of town. Yeah, he's uh, got a medical emergency he's in Louisville right, now. Right. Uh, I will talk to him about it. I didn't do it. Jason, Jason sent me up there. Yeah, yeah. uh, but I'll talk to him about uh, uh, bringing in the prices that we're looking at. And it, we, what we might have to do, because those trucks are moving so quick, we might just have to award up to a certain amount and yeah. let him go and, and put it in his hand to view the truck. Because uh, when they actually come on the market and he can actually go look at them, they're not lasting but a few days at the prices he's finding at that one place. Well, uh, uh, the mileage is what you know we're seeing. So he done a lot of research on it. So yeah. that's just a possibility yeah. that we might have to look at. I've got some questions on it too. I want to make sure that it'll pull the what they call the wet kit, the hydraulic pump it takes to work he, the dump bed. He was also going to look at if the, if it didn't have that available, how much the roundabout cost would be to add it. But uh, I would recommend that we have it at four o'clock. Uh, road committee meeting or at least a 430 where he'd come in and okay. talk about that so well there'll be other things we'll actually be talking about our we've officially got our flex funds now we'll be talking about them so let's go ahead and do a right. four o'clock road committee to next meeting to talk about the truck and the flex funds joe are you sure that was bid out i don't remember saying that well <laughs> That's what I don't know. We I mean, gave it to them and asked him if he got a bid and he had if, it. If we haven't, then we need to make sure we bid it out this coming time period. Yeah. But, uh, it would be I good to have the minute it, the attached to the minute. Right. If we, if we, once we bid, if it hasn't been bid, once we bid it, if it has, then. Okay. Will you check on that for sure? I think he did send something out. <coughs> uh, uh, okay. We just need to make sure that we get it bid out and we receive the bids by the time of our yeah, at the, four o'clock it's not done meeting meeting you wanted for the truck bid and what else the flex funds flex and and i think i thought it has been going out we'll check and double share but i think it could big sense that out but anyway uh larry no 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 larry justin no thank you judge judge yes sir. we didn't set a date for that new honor did you four times yes i'll be if you set a date uh, before adjourn, I'll we'll make sure that's in there in that motion. That when I put it, that there's the hard date of uh, of uh, four three. You know, it'll be five one, Jimmy. Four what? I mean five four. Four four. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna put the Sunday starting. Yeah, the the Sunday near the first of mine. Yes. I'm sorry, I didn't put that in. It's assumed. I'm sorry. Okay. Um. <coughs> okay, if there's nothing else, bring for the good of this body. I'll see y'all at the road committee meeting at uh, four o'clock in two weeks.